Hello everyone and welcome to the Wolfzeit channel today with a very special topic. We are talking about Mortalis. And now you ask, what the fuck is this? Very good question, Watson. They reached out to me and asked me to ask you what you think about it. These two guys are from the Mortal Online community. Michael and Christian. Or how you would pronounce them in German. Michael und Christian. And after knowing that now, if you look very close, he graves for German white beer. And he's also selling rice on the Discord. Which is nice. But uh, back to the topic. I also met parts of the team behind all that. And they are developing a very big MMO. Oh. Holy shit. With a slightly different approach than all the others. But the real question is, what is it about and why are they doing it? Maybe it's kind of like Mortal, maybe not. And I directly asked them, why are they doing an MMORPG? Why not something else? And here comes the answer, I quote, There are many copy-paste MMORPGs and nothing new since decades. Most games have very similar quests, systems and all want to rush to the endgame. Everyone can make everything and there is no role-playing element in games. Yeah, that sounds a little bit like Henrik, I know you recognized that, but let's wait for a minute. We want to change all that and bring adventure and discovery back to the MMORPG world. Immersion is only the word that most games use, but most games are empty and repetitive. Yeah, I can completely agree on that. There's nothing new about them. All good ideas are faded or bought up and changed by investors. And oh yeah, oh boy, I know a few MMORPGs who went down the drain because uh, the investors thought we need more money. Anyway, they also say i quote we are going to change all that by listening to players feedback from many different mmorpgs adding tons of new ideas ourselves a good game should be made together with players creating worlds ideas and choices together we are making a community game where every action idea and suggestion have a weight and can be heard and have the chance to get into the game so now we know why but now the most interesting thing what is mortal is back to the roots and here it was a little bit tricky i guess i guess that they had real real uh, uh, trouble to, to uh, define that in a few sentences. So Mortalis game is a high fantasy sci-fi online MMORPG that grows and evolves with the community. A game that has also some survival elements and adventure elements, a deep and immersive crafting system and a development that develops on the, the player's actions. The main idea behind that is to build up civilizations from scratch. There are no towns or cities, all have to be built by players. And Mortalis game will also be a community game that means that everyone who wants to help with stuff can help. Our focus is the best at immersion. That's why we are using the first person viewpoint and many different game mechanics that will make the game deep and meaningful. There are always different choices and options. We don't want to restrict anything. We aim to create our game to be a real role playing heaven. There is no time to learn everything. You have to choose your path and occupations wisely. You can always learn new things and skills but there is a catch. In general, this sounds awesome. Like a little chill out uh, game uh, when you just hone your skills. And I really asked some very inappropriate questions. Like what Christian's favorite food is. Sushi. Now we know it. Secret information leak. Anyway, I also had some real questions. Like for example, how big is the dev team currently? They are currently 15 members and they are growing. And also stuff like which engine will be used. And of course, it will be the Unreal Engine 5. So I'm really looking forward to some uh, gameplay tech demo stuff. Um, yeah, they are working on that. But I guess it will need a long time. And I also ask the question of questions. Are there maybe any games out there that are like Mortalis? So maybe we can get a grip on that or stuff like that. And their answer was, I quote, There are games that have similar content, mechanics and good storyline, but no one of them are in one game. They want to do things differently. And they want to do it with the community. Right from the planning, right from the start. And they also want to drive the focus on the community and on the people that are interacting in the game with each other. And I also asked about the world building and how does the world look like and what lore do you guys have and how deep is the lore and then it came like out of nowhere yeah they are releasing a book this february this month and it's only the beginning and they are also working on much more lore and stuff like that that sounds pretty interesting hopefully this will also be available in a uh, german language maybe someday <laughs> let's hope but now as a mortal veteran i had a few intriguing questions like for example how will the world be will it be one server 
will it be multiple? Or will it have dedicated servers like Valheim, Rust or something like that? And oh, oh boy, oh boy, fasten your seatbelts. There will be one big server, but it won't be all open to discover at the start. Our planet is mostly covered by ice and opens up slowly. Because we are a community game, that means players have huge impact and options in our game world. That's also very interesting how how big will the area be and, and, and when you can evolve to the next area and stuff like that. But back to the topic. <laughs> But and by such a huge world what is also pretty interesting is how the PvP will be. And the PvP will be optional. Yeah, you heard correctly, will be optional, but meaning like in Albion Online. You have to flag up if you are ready to combat. And here I quote something. Here we will innovate and do things so that most people, no matter if you are a PvP or PvE fan, you will all be pleasantly surprised and want to test it. This system will knock your socks off. But now I want to know what the system is all about, but they didn't get into detail here but the thing is if you have optional pvp what is about the pve content will it be instanced or not and deep meaningful pve is the key phrase here and that it will be a big surprise sounds legit but how does a normal day in mortalis will look like maybe so if you are for example a little bit familiar with the game after 100 hours or stuff like that i ask them that question because that is always interesting if you ask game developers uh, how, how do you see a player with 100 hours in so after you for example playing 100 hours you have most likely a vision of what do you what do you want to do in the game so most likely for example you enhance your skill tree that you take months for or even years to um, uh, have a decent skill in that for example like in uh, mortal with the alchemy system where you really need to uh, find out yourself what you what you're doing and your day will be packed with role-playing elements for example involvement into building or helping the communities or also player trading so players and their own stories and their own uniqueness in a game is the game essence here and they are molding the game daily in their actions end game is not the option here enjoying the journey is the goal not going fast to the end game black desert <coughs> <coughs> but the journey in Black Desert is not the best, I guess. Grinding your ass off. Okay, anyway. And the main question is, what will it cost? Will it have a subscription or not? I mean, subscriptions are a normal model now. And yeah, Mortalis Game will also have a subscription model. And also how the funding will be. Because yeah, I mean, developing an MMO needs money. There will be also a free-to-play model with some tweaks. They will also start a campaign to raise additional money. But that also boils down to the question, what happens if they don't have enough money anymore? And here... I quote, money doesn't make the game, never has, never will. If money would make a good MMORPG, there would be so many good games now in the world. There are so many projects and companies who have started without any money and running for years before they get investments back or the fan base together who will help to support their cause. Of course, they will start a Kickstarter campaign, but if that fails, they quote, we are committing to finding dozens of different options to make Mortalis games successful in any way, with money or without money. But then it will take just longer. So anyway, please leave your opinion in the comments. What do you think about Mortalis game? Sounds good? Sounds not good? And how do you imagine the combat system? Or maybe the crafting system? How complex will it be? You can also inform yourself about Mortalis Game on their website. You can also join their Discord server or maybe read one of the stories that they have. Are you interested now? If that is the case, then you can also watch the Dev Talks. Every month there is a new Dev Talk with new information and more stuff to know about. Links are in the description. And if you're interested in maybe helping the whole project with, for example, 3D modeling or whatever stuff, you can also reach out to Michael and Christian. Uh, sorry. Christian, 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 it's, it's a German Christian, okay? And directly talk with them or ask questions. So I hope you enjoyed this little different video today. <laughs> enjoyed because it's the end of the video. Okay, yeah, I, I will stop with that. So please for like and subscribe and ring the bell as always. And please let me know if you want more of that. So special thanks to Carmel, Professor O, Lucario, the Spicy Gentleman, Slamov Gaming, Ronos, Partanax, Mip, Colon, Bulldog, Kanopo, you and all the others, of course. And always remember to make Mortalis hard. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, party heart. And uh, see you all next time. Goodbye.